Uh, good evening, my YouTube viewers. It is Crystal here, and I wanted to make you another uh, video on how to create a statistical function in Excel. In this particular video, we're going to be talking about the student's T distribution, which uh, we are going to create in Excel. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is we need to determine how many degrees of freedom uh, we're going to have in this particular distribution. And I put two de degrees of freedom, but you can put as many degrees of freedom if you as you want. So we'll put like a three degree of freedom. And you can see that it changes the shape of the curve whenever you change the degrees of freedom. So you can have as many degrees of freedom as you like. And then we put our input values in here. And our input values are going to be from negative 4 to positive 4 with 0.1 degree intervals. So it's going to go all the way down here to row number 84. So that's your input variable. And then we're going to calculate the t distribution and uh, we're going to use t.dist and it's going to be on A4 and it's also going to use the degrees of freedom so dollar sign B dollar sign 2 so that's an absolute variable and false letting you know that it is a probability distribution function and so what we do is we take that one uh, formula and we copy it all the way down to row 84 and that will give you the probability distribution function which you can see right here and then if you want the uh, commutative distribution function you use exactly the same formula that you had used for the probability distribution function but you're going to say true so true lets you know that it is a cumulative. And so we look over here and you see that you've got your cumulative distribution function right here, all the way from negative 4 to positive 4. So if you want to make a, a plot, a graph of your um, distribution, then what you do is you have to mark off, you have to mark off the entire, all the data, mark off the data. You come over here to insert, and then you're going to say recommended charts. And so on this particular one, it's still going to be a scatter plot, but it's going to be a different plot, a different type of scatter plot. And we're just going to use it that way. And, um, We'll put it here. And so if you want to see what the CDF of the student's T distribution looks like, again, we mark it all off, all the way from negative 4 to plus positive 4. And we go insert, and then we do recommended charts, and we're going to do a scatter plot again. And let's see what we've got here for our scatter plots. We've got this scatter plot, got this one, this one. I think I'll try this scatter plot. And then we press OK. So that's your commutative distribution function. So we've got two types of scatter plots that you can see with the student's T distribution. And what you can do is you can play around with the degrees of freedom because basically what you have is the V, you have something called V, and when V equals 1, 
uh, the T distribution becomes a standard count T distribution, which I don't think I'm going to cover it in this series of videos because it's not a distribution that is actually in Excel that you have to have a formula. You have to put an actual formula in to get it. And at this time, this present time, I'm only using the distributions that are actually programmed in Excel. And then when V equals infinity, the T distribution becomes a standard normal distribution with a very thin tail. So let's look over here. Let's just say degree of freedom. Let's just try it out. We'll say a 10. Okay, so that, let's try that again. So, um, Let's try a degree of freedom of 1. And then you see that like when the degree of freedom is 1, you see the tail is fatter than when the degree of freedom is like 10. So that's very interesting. And so you can play around with your degrees of freedom uh, and you can play around with your range of values until you get what you want to experiment with the T distribution. So I've showed you how to create a T distribution in Excel and I've showed you how to make a graph of the T distribution. So I think I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video. But if you like my video, please like and subscribe. And uh, I look forward to communicating with you again with some more videos where we will be talking about some more statistical distributions in Excel.